Now we're going to do some cleanup with the text colors. I've got a white color for this text, some kind of blue. It looks like it's pretty close to this bright, bright blue down there, so I'll try to match that. And um, then adding a couple of fish here and there. Um, I'm going to do the white text first because that's the easy one. So far my rules have been fairly straightforward. Also, is my text and my font wrong? No, it's Times. I'm just looking to see if I needed to change the font family, but this looks like it's it's still in Times New Roman, so I'll leave it as is. But I will add a rule here to um, modify the color. And that takes us here. Ah, yes, good. And then what is that color down here? Well, let me try to match one of these blues using my color picker. Hopefully this won't hang. My, uh, ah, good. So, I'm sort of hanging my, hanging my computer here. Oh, interesting. So it likes that one. And it does not like this picture. In that case, how funny. Limitations of the color picker. It doesn't like, it turns out it doesn't love background images, like multiple background images. Yeah, it's only hitting the gradient. Interesting. Do I have any options for that? No, it's just finding an RGB. Hmm. Point sample. This is going to be helpful for me at the bottom. So while I'm here, I guess I'll do uh, I'll do this bottom background, which is 15.2b7f. Okay, and if you if I click, it copies it to the clipboard. So let me do the background of the body. Background color. I'm going to group it nearby, and this is copied in from the color picker. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's much better, closing up that gradient at the bottom. So what I've done is I've just picked that bottom of the gradient and then I made that the background color. So when the background gradient runs out, we just see the solid color behind it. A Little bit of trouble um, here matching the bottom image, but I bet if I make my text a little bit uh, sh uh, less wide, it will be longer and then the gradient will match up with that background image. Um, it looks like I've discovered the limitation of the color picker and that it doesn't like multiple background images, so I'm just going to have to go and color pick the, um, the link color using something besides Colorzilla, which I will do in the following video.